Welcome back, folks. We are going to be grinding yet again. I know, I know. Wah, wah, wah. As I said, I'll put the warning and the disclaimers on the videos that it is grinding and just listening to Tokov talking. Um, but yeah, I talked in the last video about making an evil protagonist. And, oh, God. I mean, how much fun would that be to, to play as an actual dark, brooding... Uh, manipulative. I mean, there's so, you, you, there's so many ways you could play it. You could play the character. I mean, you play it as this cold and manipulative total bastard that, you know, just does everything he can to get ahead in life. Are you gonna die? If you die, I'm gonna be angry. Oh no, it wasn't a kill. Um, or to be able to... I mean, there's just so many options for that. Go, little spermy! Wow. Fail sperm. At least the poison got him. It just, it really does seem that video games today have a complete lack of innovation. We're gonna do what's safe, we're gonna do, you know, what's, what we know will sell a couple easy, you know, easy hits, and... It just, it almost seems to me like this golden age of video gaming is, is kind of dying out. And it seems as the technology gets better, the games get worse. Huh, that was easy. And, and then... I mean, it, it is a different generation of gamers. I know, uh... My niece, I, I tried to introduce her to, like, some of the older Final Fantasies and everything, and the games just don't move fast enough for her. They're just... It, it's a slower game. You know, she, she loved Kingdom Hearts, and could not believe that Kingdom Hearts made Final Fantasy VI... Well, the makers of Kingdom Hearts made Final Fantasy three, six, whatever. It really does just seem to be a different generation of gamers. I mean, I... I love those storylines, but... And I... I kind of like Kingdom Hearts, and then, uh... I mean, that was one of the games that I played with her. Uh, as I was kind of introducing her to video games. Well, let's... Uh, where's magic? Let's go Pyreal. Moons, give me strength. Burn. Um. So you know, it, it, I I enjoyed them, especially uh, you know, it was really cool to run into some of the old Final Fantasy characters and stuff like that. But I I think that Kingdom Hearts just got a little bit too silly. I mean, I understand it was supposed to be a kids' game, so to speak. You know, it, it's all Disney characters. I I really did think that they did a solid job with the first one, but it it just got silly. I'm sorry, it, it really did. After the first one, it just... It got up its own ass with... Retardedness. <laughs> Note, these are just opinions. You're more than welcome to disagree with me. Dissing agree with... Disagree, disagreeing with me does not make you a bad person, does not make me a bad person. It's just... Things I notice. No, I, I really did enjoy the first. I mean, uh, it was kind of fun playing the game with her. As she really, you know, it was kind of what got her into the RPG games. She really had no idea about the genre at all. Oh, it's the, uh, the niece who I'm talking about actually is the same one that I did, um, Eco Quest 1 with. And ironically enough, she's going to be, uh, She's going to be joining me for the 24-hour stream. She won't be there the whole time, but my sister and her will be coming over. I give them 20 minutes before they're bored, but... Huh. That was easy.
and it, it's funny, I mean, because of it, I'd still say the greatest game of all time is... Ta I, and it's funny, a lot of people don't know what Tabletop is. Uh, tabletop Dungeons & Dragons is basically when you picture nerds sitting in their parents' basement um, playing, you know, rolling dice and playing a game like that, that is Tabletop Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, obviously, really none of us are... Well, it's funny, in my group, I'm, I'm the youngest player by... 12 years? So, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, we have we have such a great solid group. It's a very anti-min-max group. But I mean, it, it's the perfect game. It really is. It is... A tabletop yeah. Dungeon... Wow. Insta-kill? That's not good. What's so great about Tabletop Dungeons & Dragons, it is perfectly balanced. It is 100% perfectly balanced, because if it's not, that's your Dungeon Master's fault. Yes, maybe something in the rules is unbalanced, but the rules in D&D &D really are meant as a guideline. They're not... some people take it, you know, that this is how it has to be. Our group always tends to do... You know, oh, you know what, the, the, this is ridiculous. The, this. This makes it less fun with this character being this overpowered. Or, yeah, this is really underpowered. Can I, you know, talk to you about this, 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 and because we've got a really solid group like that, it, it makes it great. Um, but especially if you can really, if you've got a good imagination for it, um, it's just, it's so much fun. Sit out there, uh, especially in the summer, we sit out there in the in the sun, uh, on my friend's deck. Ooh, come on. Actually, we probably want to do... Not that it makes a difference, but... Sacre... You know what? Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, it's just, it's so much fun. You can make any type of character... Did I lock up? Oh my god. Without saving? Are you... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. Hang on, I'm gonna cut the recording. 